What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Back in June, NVIDIA's Lightspeed Studios released Quake 2 RTX, a ray traced reimagining of the old school classic from 1997. We thought the perfect way to play this retro game with a new look was with a new look retro PC. And that's why we have Lee Harrington of PC Junkie Mods with us today. Well, welcome back, Lee, to GeForce Garage. What did you bring us today? So I brought the Retro Sleeper PC. Old on the outside, awesome hardware on the inside. So how'd you go about actually creating something like this? Well, I wanted to build something under a budget. So pretty much everything that I've done to this PC was under $100, minus the hardware that's inside. I did a lot of searching on the internet, especially like on eBay and stuff, trying to find a case. It was kind of difficult to find the chassis though. It wasn't all banged up because most people take them and e-cycle them or you know, there's a door missing or the front panel's all smashed up or whatever. I ended up finding this finally at a local PC shop in Stockton. Well, since the case is as old as it is, I'm sure it was probably pretty difficult to put modern hardware inside of this. So what modifications did you actually have to go about doing? So there's quite a few modifications. From the outside, you can't really tell and that was the whole idea. Like on the front here, I ended up getting rid of all the five and a quarter bays. I put a grill in the front to be able to get some nice airflow because that was one of the problems with the older cases. No airflow, no wire management, that kind of thing. But I also wanted to keep the floppy. So I gutted the whole floppy, just kept the face plate. And then I pulled out the LED as well so I could make it look like it was actually working. And then I removed the physical five and a quarter bays out of the chassis, which kind of kills the structure of the chassis. But the point was is to be able to put an AIO in here. And these are definitely not designed for AIOs. No. And then I moved on down to the feet. I didn't like the old plastic feet. So I just went to Lowe's and actually found some drawer pulls. So these are the types that would go on a cabinet? Yeah, yeah, on your cabinet. Okay. They're, they're the exact same thing. The one bad thing about the case was the door. The door had, for one, it had that 80 millimeter fan hole in the middle. It was really scuffed up. I decided to try to do this Bill Owen suicide door, which didn't work out because the case was a little too small. So we went for the opening to the right. And now we have this door. I just used a piece of aluminum and then, of course, paint. Awesome. So what are the actual specs of the PC? So we started off with the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. And then we have an Intel i7 9700K cooled by this nifty ASUS AIO with the OLED screen on it on a Z370 motherboard from ASUS. We have for storage a 500 gig M.2 and we have 16 gigs of Corsair RGB Vengeance RAM, all powered by the RM750X with the cable kit. Well, this was awesome. Definitely a blast from the past. Way better than the gaming PC I had back in the early 2000s. So thanks for bringing it by. No problem. Thanks for having me. Quake 2 RTX is available now on Steam. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you for the next one.